Hi there guys, it's Lee here from, um, from the Maidstone Bootcamp. I just wanted to give you a quick, um, a quick blog or video blog, just really on some alternatives. So I know we send out a, an email every day to you guys, just giving you some uh, education about nutrition tips and, uh, and motivation as well. What I wanted to do today was just literally to, to help you with some alternatives for milk. Now I'll talk to Sainsbury's um, in Maidstone, which is just across the road from us and they do have the milk there as well. I also checked out at um, Hempstead Valley Shopping Centre at the same place there as well. They do have the, um, the milk there as well, okay? So, alternatives to milk. And what I did was when I went over there, and I've got my, uh, my nice big pile here, we've got the traditional one. I hope you can see this, okay? I'll, uh, I'll move it a little bit closer for you so you can see. Uh, the traditional one is um, soy milk. The, um, the normal uh, type of, um, Soy milk, a lot of people see is the Alpro one, but Sainsbury's do their own version of it as well, which is it, even in the Sainsbury's basic. So if you're okay with the soya, then this is only, I think about 70 pence or 50 or 50 pence, I think this is. They do another one which is 70 pence as well. So it's not, um, it's a litre, it's not overly expensive. Uh, next up, we have rice milk. So uh, what we did this morning actually, which was quite comical, we, uh, we got the team, Lorraine, Kim, and uh, one of our new members, Carmen, in, uh, were in here and uh, we did a little tasting session which was very amusing because obviously it's worth trying all of these because some of them really are disgusting. I like all of them myself, um, but Lorraine and, uh, and Kim just thought, thought that some of them were absolutely foul and they absolutely love some of them too. So it's really worth you, uh, you just going out, just trying, buying one of each and just trying one and seeing which one you like and going for that. I'll go through them all as well. So this one's the rice milk. Uh, it's quite a nice one. Um, it's again, it's made from rice, so it's not coming from a cow. Um, it's a, it's a good, uh, good alternative. It's got a lot of calcium in it. It's got a lot of vitamin D and, and um, D2 that is, and B12 in there. So that's a good one. Again, this one is only I think one pound thirty-eight from Sainsbury's for a litre. So it's, you can probably pick them up online a lot cheaper as well. Uh, let's have a look. So next up, we have the coconut milk. So the coconut milk again, this is £1.40. This is um, this really does have the like the coconut taste to it as well and has a similar texture to um, to milk. So and, and taste to milk. All of these are lactose free as well for those that do have um, uh, lactose intolerant. Some of you that are um, that are uh, can't um, can't take the soya because some people can't digest the soya either. So it's soya free, it's lactose free. Uh, we've got on the back, it's gluten free as well. It's cholesterol free. So there's a whole um, whole load of uh, of bad stuff that um, that may not agree with you that that isn't in here. And there's a whole load of good stuff that's in here too. So it's, it's rich in calcium and uh, and other vitamins. What other vitamins? Let me have a quick look. Uh, Vitamins wise, we've got again, we've got D2 and B12 that are in here as well. So this is this is one pound sixty, I think. Uh, the coconut milk again, that's per litre. Quite easily sit in the fridge. Next up, um, which I really like this, I like the coconut milk, but I do, uh, I, I really like the rice milk. That's nice. The almond milk, I absolutely love this. Okay, this is one pound forty, I believe, off the top of my head. No, uh, yes, one pound forty. No, sorry, I apologise. It's one pound sixty-eight. I remember now. I bought loads of them just so I could show you this. So almond milk. This is literally, and yeah, you can make this yourself. You can go out and buy some almonds, and once you bought your almonds, soak them in water for a few days. Buy a massive batch of them, soak them in water, and then when you blend them, it turns into this milk. So again, this has got uh, where we're at. Let's have a look. Uh, this has got it's a uh, good source of calcium. It's got vitamins B2, B12, and vitamins D in there. It's free from animal fats, obviously, because it's made from a nut. Uh, if you are do have nut allergies, this is not a good option. So don't go for this one. Go for the rice milk or um, some of the others. We'll go for in a second. Uh, it's lactose free as well and dairy free, so it's, it's a real good one if you aren't um, not don't have any nut allergies. And, uh, and you can afford the, uh, the £1.68 for it. I uh, really like this one, it's, it's a yummy one. And, uh, and again, the problem with, um, with normal milk is that um, they advertise on the TV and everywhere you see that it's, uh, that it's really good for you because it's got loads and loads of calcium in it. 
The problem is it does have calcium in it, which is correct, but the problem is, is that your body uses more calcium to absorb it, okay? So to digest the, the, um, the milk and the calcium that's in the milk. So uh, you, you end up the, the, um, using more calcium from the body and the body has, um, the, the only places really that it gets the calcium from is your bones and your teeth. So it's taken from them to be able to absorb the, uh, the calcium and the nutrients or the few nutrients that are actually in cow's milk. Okay, so moving on. Next up, we have, um, we have hazelnut milk. Uh, this is really nice as well. If you're a fan of Nutella, this does have quite a, a similar taste to Nutella with, um, as, as well in it. Uh, this does have vitamins B2, B12, D and E in there as well, okay? So it's quite a high one for, for the vitamins. The B vitamins are what's gonna give you your energy as well to, um, to help you uh, get through the day. Uh, again, it's very naturally low, low in um, saturated fats. It's a, uh, a good source of calcium, B vitamins and D vitamin. Again, it's, um, it's completely free of the uh, animal fats and of the, uh, the dairy products or the, and the lactose. No artificial colors or flavorings in this one or in the, uh, in the almond milk. Don't, that again, that, this one, the, uh, the hazelnut milk, this is £1.68 as well, I think, from memory. Um, then we have the oat, oat drink, or the oat, um, this is made from oats. Uh, this wasn't um, my favorite at all. It doesn't really look like milk. It's quite a, um, a watery sort of look to the, uh, to the texture as such from it. So, but it's well worth um, giving it a try because everybody's different. So find out what, um, what tastes right for you, what looks good. But it's much better to have something like this on your um, cereal or than, uh, than the general sort of full fat milk or uh, the semi skim, the skim and so on. So let's have a quick look, see what we've got in here for you. It's low, it's low in fat, it's unsweetened, there's no artificial flavorings or colorings or anything in it, suitable for vegans, obviously vegetarians as well. We have vitamins D, um, B12, calcium in there as well. We've also got um, the, uh, uh, what else we got in here, sorry, the, the, the riboflavins as well. So it's real work, it's enriched with uh, calcium and vitamins. So it's good, it's much better than uh, the normal milk, but again, it comes down to taste. It wasn't one of my favorites when we did the testing. I apologize, we should have videoed the testing, but um, well, we did it in a smaller area. We couldn't quite get the video camera in there to, um, to do it, but it was very funny watching people's faces when they were tasting stuff, especially with uh, the ones they didn't like. Or they didn't like the smell of it because for some reason we have to smell things before we actually, uh, before we actually get to taste them. So the girls were all smelling them first. They hated the smell of it, but then they liked the taste of it. So it was kind of weird that way. Other ones, they just didn't like the taste of them at all. Some of them they really liked. So that's the oat milk. I think this was one, I think this was about one pound 50, one pound 60, something like that as well. So in St. Louis too. So they're all pretty much around the same sort of price. Uh, then we've done them. The, the last one we've got is the most expensive. This is the hemp one. So it's from Good Hemp. You can more than likely get this uh, a bit cheaper online if you bought a few of them. Uh, just like you can probably the other ones as well. This is uh, free of uh, cholesterol. It's enriched with calcium and, uh, and vitamins. It's got no dairy, no lactose, no soy, no glutton, no GMO, no allergies, uh, no artificial colouring, sweeteners or preservatives. Suitable for vegans, vegetarians, and very easy to digest. This is made from a hemp plant, just like the hemp protein. This hemp protein is exceptionally good for you. If you if you're taking protein supplements um, to just to help you uh, with uh, or even any sort of um, nutritional supplement, and it's got whey protein in it, ditch it because whey is a complete and utter useless waste product. It's really not the best for you. If you can get good quality protein, you, you can take in less of it. You don't have to take in so much. And, uh, and it's going through. This is a nice, uh, very good quality plant. Again, it is also used as um, as, a, as a nice way of uh, getting high as well. Some people smoke hemp too. So, but but that aside, um, we're not promoting that by any means. But um, but it is from that same plant. So it's used. Uh, it's, it, well, I don't know. It's a very good source of omega three as well. So it's not like it's um, it's got a good source of natural uh, essential fatty acids that your body needs. Uh, it's actually got omega-3 and omega-6 in it as well. So this is 
This is um, well worth a little bit extra if you have got the um, the income or the, the the excess that you can pay for it. Uh, we've got a lot of calcium in it, and it's got vitamin um, D two in there as well. There's no B vitamins in there, but again, you're paying extra extra for the uh, the fatty acids that are in here too. So out of all of them, uh, this was nice. Uh, I like this one. This one is probably the. Uh, the best one with regards to uh, regards to what's actually in it um, regarding the, the fatty acids. Uh, for general taste wise, um, I'm definitely up there with the almond milk as well. I do like the rice milk, that's quite nice as well. It's a little bit thinner and it comes across a little bit watery as well. But again, it's down to personal choice. So I hope that helps. You also have goat's milk as well. The uh, the goat's milk is uh, is a good alternative to uh, to to normal milk again that's a little bit cheaper than some of these a bit more expensive than the uh, the, than the soya uh, if you're getting a different brand if you're going for like a Sainsbury's basic the the only real difference that I uh, that I know of and they've seen is when you look at the difference here look at the packaging so if they was to put this into this type of packaging it would look uglier not look as pretty but the price would be a lot cheaper so you really a lot of the time are paying for packaging so don't get caught up in the packaging you can go for the basics as they call them be uh, just purely because they dump it in a really ugly looking container so otherwise it is pretty much the same stuff so uh, as far as i can read and, and have looked into it everything uh, with regards to nutrients everything is still the same okay so i uh, hope this helps and um, and i'll see you again on our next vlog thanks a lot If you would like to receive a 30-day free trial, please call us on 0800 0937 824 or text Bootcamp to 07723 431 301. You can also email us, if that's easier, on info at womensbootcamp.co.uk. We look forward to seeing you soon.